Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row, and today we are going to be bringing... Hi guys! I'm here, David. Don't forget about me. Jamie, thanks so much for coming to this speakeasy today. Urban Van reached out to us, and they asked us to participate in this great sharing of knowledge of a bunch of different whiskey channels across YouTube, and we were very honored that they asked, and we're excited to share with you five distilleries from Virginia that we recommend that you check out. Now, the first distillery we're going to share with you today is called Malarkey, and it is in Bristow, Virginia. And we've got two bottles from them that we are that are representing their distillery today. One is the first one that I got, and it's actually Malarkey Heritage Whiskey, coming in at 100 proof. It is a corn, rye, and barley whiskey. They call it their Old Country Whiskey, and, and that's the first one I got. But then we went to a bar in Virginia that, that had some really good cocktails, and they had a 3T Lemonade. That I really like. That you really loved, yeah. and it's fantastic. And they used Malarkey's 3T Whiskey, which is an infusion of three different types of tea, and they kind of craft it all into this delicious, delicious cocktail mixer. You could probably put this, if you like bourbon and you like tea and you wanna just put this on the rocks, you'd probably enjoy it. But if you take this on the rocks with some lemonade, wow, that I is fantastic. I would probably enjoy it. Just by itself? Let's <laughs> I don't try know, it. would I? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I'm just ready for something to drink. <laughs> My glass has been empty. I've been patient. Here, it's you try time. that. Well, while she's trying the three tree whiskey, I decided to try the Malarkey traditional whiskey. I like it. Cheers to Virginia. Cheers. Tastes like a very unsweet tea okay. with a with a little bit of lemonade. With it, it already has a little like bit of I, lemon. I, to I it. taste lemon on mm, there too. Nice. Their old country whiskey has kind of a a nice corn sweetness. It's got a little bit of spice, some oh, good caramel. But the, I was about to say, the caramel mm -hmm. just... At the end, it comes Ooh. through really, really nicely. Now, this bottle's been open for a while. I opened it and I tried it, and Ooh. it needed some time to open up. But now it's it's really come into its own. Like, at the beginning, is that bacon spice that is hitting me? Super spicy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But, like, then I, all of a sudden, the caramel just takes over. My taste of the three tea whiskey. So if you took, like, an unsweet tea on I ice you and you... I copied my... Oh, um... I did. You did a good job, so I just kind of copied it. <laughs> pretty good okay yeah I'm, I'm i like it and at 100 proof it's nice and proofy it's got a decent mouth feel and if you're in the uh, market for something up in uh, bristol virginia or around the state of virginia yeah the abc store should have some malarkey somewhere so you definitely check out malarkey so up next is ragged branch distillery they're down in charlottesville now charlottesville is where university of virginia is and so there are a lot of great breweries down there a lot of well, there's starting to be a lot of little distilleries starting up down there. Now, what's interesting about Ragged Branch is the first one I bought was this signature bourbon. It comes in at 90 proof. It's kind of a nice, like, it's a spicier bourbon. It's got a good balance, though, of spicy and sweetness. Really kind of reminds me of a little bit of, like, a Wild Turkey 101. Not Maybe not quite the same thing, not quite as good, but it's similar to a Wild Turkey 101, but the proof's at 90 instead of 101. But where they really stood out to me is their rye whiskey. This Ragged Branch bottled and bond coming in at 100 proof, obviously. It's like specially handcrafted. It won some World Spirit Competition Silver. Oh. It's pretty solid. It's a solid pour. So we're going to have a taste of that. I'll have a taste of the bourbon. Jamie will have some of this rye. So I can definitely already smell the rye. Yeah, and this this bourbon has just such a strong, strong, dark, dense caramel to it. Ooh, that smells better. You want to switch? Here, smell this. <laughs> this is like a lemony, fresh rye to me. It yeah, smells I really think, clean and I... light. Which yeah. you want to try first? We'll All do right. both. We'll try we'll both. Do, yeah, we'll definitely. I'll both. start with the rye then. Okay. Cheers. It's spicy. It is, but that doesn't bother me. It's um, the ending. I'm just really trying to place. It doesn't taste like the dark caramel that you were talking really? about. So the rye comes across to me as very kind of lemon fresh. It's just kind of a light, fresh, a little bit of a pininess, but it's very, very mild. Uh, it's not like a, an off-putting pininess at all. It's just very light and refreshing, and it's pretty, pretty darn tasty to me. That one's pretty good, too. So this one gets me right away on the, the proof, mm -hmm. but I do get that lemony, fresh mm -hmm. scent at the end. So. Yeah, it's like a it's like a lemon cream. And for me, the bourbon, there's like a nice bourbon spice, a little bit of clove up front, and then it goes into a little bit of a almost like a little bit of a brown sugar and caramel. Those oatmeal pies, that kind of like they're brown Ooh, yeah, sugar, yeah. but they have the cream in the middle. So the like little kind of, Debbie oatmeal pies. Yeah. Yes. It does kind of remind me of that kind of It's that, weird because I it's almost like a little bit of a gingerbread 
with some cream. I think thing. That's, that's why yeah. I don't love it. Because oh, yeah, you don't like the, gingerbread. The anything. gingerbread, I am, you're right on with that. So that is Ragged Branch Distillery down in Charlottesville. If you are in Charlottesville area, check out their distillery and or a, an ABC store, and you will likely find a Ragged Branch somewhere, and they, I definitely recommend you try them out. All right, next up is a wonderful distillery out of Richmond called Reservoir. We've got two different bottles from them. This is the traditional Reservoir Bourbon Whiskey coming in at 100 proof. This one you saw in my last video in the store hall because I had actually finished the prior bottle I have. But so that's, it's good? It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, it's, it's a pretty complex bourbon. Somehow I was able to get a hold of this Holland's Milk Man, which is from Reservoir as well. And it is a single barrel bourbon whiskey finished in ardent milk stout barrels. So if you are a stout beer lover, this might be right up your alley. Now this thing ran about $100, it was not cheap. Prior to starting this segment, I was trying to find the tab to open this thing, and I literally have no idea how I am supposed to get this cork off this thing. <laughs> I thought you usually use your teeth. Let's pop the cork on this brand new thing. Nice. Yeah. So which would you like in your glass, the Reservoir or the Milkman? I'll take the Milkman. Yeah, you guys need to stick together. So the Milkman smells very, very unique. It does not smell like a traditional bourbon at all. You definitely get very, very strong kind of hoppy characteristics, a little bit of beer stuff going on in there. And for those of you that have been supporting the channel, watching the channel for a long time, you know I do not like beer. So this was kind of a unique drinking experience for me. All right. So the Milkman comes across. The first thing you get is some spice. And then after that, you get this like warm, like caramelized, sugar milk. Because I don't like beer, it's hard for me to say whether beer lovers would love this, but to me it has a very, very hoppy, like creamy, milky, like I said, it's like a toasted milk. This is very spicy off the, mm -hmm. the front. This is more of a kind of a spicy traditional bourbon. It reminds me, flavor-wise it almost reminds me a little bit of an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So see, I get the caramel at the end that mm -hmm. I'm really digging on this one. Yeah, that's a very, very unique one. So the Holland's Milkman, uh, you know, it's kind of similar to the Woodford Reserve uh, five stouted mash or whatever that thing's called. But this that I really generally don't like this is unique and interesting and different, mm -hmm. but I actually still like it. Reservoir is doing some really, really interesting stuff. This is not a regular release. This is a special release. They do these special releases from time to time. They do some experimental stuff. Their standard stuff's pretty solid as well, if you like things a little bit more on the spicier side. Um, and then just it's just kind of a unique thing they're doing down in Richmond. So definitely check out Reservoir. Up next is the Virginia Distillery Company. They're down in Lovington, Virginia, and I fell in love with this a long, long time ago. It is very much a delicious, delicious. It's a port cask finished Virginia Highland whiskey. They take Virginia whiskey, they pair it with some Highland whiskey that they import from Scotland. Comes in at 92 proof and it is quite exceptional. And this is, I think, my third or fourth bottle of this. Oh, I'm excited to try this one. You really... Uh... <laughs> so the problem is that it's more like a scotch than a bourbon. Okay. So this is going to be a growing moment for you, Jamie. <laughs> now, this one here is the an American single malt whiskey called Courage and Conviction. It was just in the last store hall video I did. I knew I was doing this video, you know, from the bourbon van setting us up for this. And I've never had it before. I've seen it many, many times in that giant blue container. And I've always wanted to try it. I'm going to pour you the Highland, the Virginia Highland whiskey. Okay. And I'm going to pour myself this. And I think I'm going to end up drinking most of both. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, I can already smell like something that is not appealing to me, which is probably the, oh, the scotch. This one smells a lot like buttered popcorn. This one does not. This one smells like, oh, this smells like a delicious like scotch. It's, just, it's good. It smells, <laughs> smells like a good quality <laughs> scotch. Yeah, Here, switch with me. I, just because it smells like that. It doesn't smell gravelly. It smells. Yeah, this one smells a lot better. To me, it smells like dried spices and dried fruit with a little bit of a iodine from a scotch. Oh, yeah. On the palate, this Virginia Highland whiskey, again, it's it's a scotch, it's not a bourbon. Well, it's not a scotch officially, but it's a Virginia Highland whiskey. Light caramel sweetness underneath everything. But then above that, it's got this like dried fruit, some spices, a little bit of like a pecan nut to it. It's, it's okay. quite nice. So on Courage and Conviction, the single malt American whiskey, it has this like nice, like, like charred, orange slice kind of thing going on. Yeah, I, I tasted the orange. 
And then there's like a, a little bit of a nuttiness to it as well. It's very subtle and light. It's a little bit of a spiciness on the nose. The palette on this one is, I'm almost getting a very, very hint of chocolate. And I'm getting this like candied orange. You know, like the little candy orange slices mm -hmm. that you would, the gummy orange slice things. It might not be up your alley unless you're into yeah. some scotch. But for, it's not scotchy like this though. This is, you get some of those really traditional scotch notes. This is kind of unique. You know, I do enjoy a good scotch from time to time and they are scotchy. And Jamie will attest that they do taste like scotch. <laughs> Yeah, they do. There's, so, there is a definite difference between bourbon and scotch. But check out Virginia Distillery Company. They're doing some really, really good stuff. All right, last up tonight, we could not talk about Virginia whiskey or Virginia bourbon without talking about A. Smith Bowman Distillery in Fredericksburg. It is literally in our backyard, and I can't say enough highly. So if those of you who don't know, uh, A. Smith Bowman is actually owned by Sazerac, and most of their bourbons and whiskeys come from Buffalo Trace then they do some magical A. Smith Bowman magicianry, producing some very, very interesting bourbons. If you can't find Buffalo Trace in your neighborhood, right? If you can't find Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, E.H. Taylor, Elmer T. Lee, a really, really good alternative that you might be able to find is John J. Bowman. And this is their right around $50, comes in at 100 proof, single barrel. And to me, this reminds me so much of an E.H. Taylor small batch. It's not identical, but it tastes so similar to me. Then they also do some very, very special releases. And this is Gingerbread 2. And the Sweet 16 that, uh, that A. Smith Bowman put out is... The Sweet 16 is absolutely fantastic. It is sweet, it's 16 year old, and they have done some magicianry to it. They also do a port barrel finished one. So for those of you that really like a, a strong port barrel finished bourbon, this is that. This is not a mild port barrel finish. This is a strong port barrel finish. And if you like that port barrel finish, you will like this one a lot. I don't love the port barrel finish. So I don't love this one particularly, but I'm gonna pour the gingerbread too because it's an excuse for me to drink the gingerbread too. <laughs> and Jamie is gonna have the traditional John J. Bowman. So this gingerbread too is like, it's like gingerbread dough. It's like a gingerbread cookie with a little bit of like a orange zest and some a teeny bit of apple. It just reminds me of Christmas so much. And it's really, really got a good finish, a good thick mouthfeel. This is a solid, solid special occasion type bourbon. This is like a piece of bread toasted lightly with butter, like buttered bread, and then with some berry jam, like some kind of raspberry jam or mm -hmm. something on it. That's the traditional Buffalo Trace berryness that you're getting there on the finish. I mean, it's definitely Buffalo Trace. Like I said, to me, it reminds me the most of E.H. Taylor. Pound cake with butter on it and some raspberry jam it is this that's, that's my jams that's right a there. good bourbon this is a solid solid sazerac it really product. is this is my favorite out of yeah. all tonight <laughs> yeah it's very very good so again if you are looking for alternatives to buffalo trace or even some stuff that can beat a lot of buffalo trace a smith bowman distillery out of fredericksburg is doing some amazing stuff thank you so much to bourbon van for setting this up yeah. with all the channels to help promote these distilleries if you ended up enjoying this video please smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not and if you want more content from us check out beyond the road jamie's channel where we're both on there and we have a lot of fun over there as well and also check out bourbon vans playlist for all of these state videos from all of the other youtubers out there and until next time find, find a, a bottle, bottle you, you love, love.